Um, in First Corinthians chapter four, I was doing uh, studying to this, and I was really blessed because it says, "I always uh, First Corinthians chapter one verse four. I all, I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus." Uh, that in every way you were enriched in him in all speech and all knowledge did you see that because of the grace of God that's been given to us in Jesus Christ we have been enriched enriched or empowered uh, in all speech and all knowledge all speech and all knowledge check it out you know this is uh, precisely, the, precisely the kind of thing uh, that we want, all, all enriched in every way, all kinds of speech and all knowledge. With that, you know, if we are enriched in, our, uh, in, in, in all speech, not just some speech, and all knowledge, not just some knowledge, we are set to rock and roll. That means, theoretically, we are already empowered by the grace of God in Christ Jesus to be enriched and empowered in our speech, in all our speech and uh, all our knowledge. Now, how is that possible? You know, uh, just a testimony about Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking any gift. Now, that gift is very interesting. Because in the same book, first, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Ten chapters later, by Paul as well, in the same book of 1 Corinthians, to the, to, the, to the Corinthian church, the context is absolutely in line. Paul is talking about the spiritual gift. Now it says 1 Corinthians chapter 1 to the same church, the word gift is here. I believe that is the same spiritual gift. So what is, what's happening here is that um, in everywhere you were enriched, Okay, every way you were enriched in all speech and all knowledge. Okay, so let's see the word enriched uh, in, King, in uh, King James says, uh, every way it's been enriched. Everybody says, talk about enriched. Now, all speech. Now, verse 7 you are now lacking any gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we think you don't lack gift, Paul is saying. That's precisely what we need. We need this, the gift of God in our lives to fight the corruption of the world, the temptation of the sin, the discouragement, and everything that we need so badly living in this world of such brokenness, depravity, and discouragement. Now, he said, why do you wait for the revealing of the Lord Jesus Christ? Because so that you are not lacking any gift as you wait for the revealing of the Lord Jesus Christ. That means the second coming of Christ. Who will sustain you to the end? Huh? Jesus will sustain us to the end. Hallelujah. You know, I love to follow the God who will not just save me, but also sustain me to the end. There's no point to start a race beautifully and give up the race halfway through. You know, this is so very, very important. People, that he's the Alpha and Omega. He who started the race will bring us to completion. He will bring us, sustain us. You see, the word is sustain. I love that because he knows that we're going to go through hard times. Because we know, he knows that when we are in this world trying to be a good Christian, a Christian that's faithful to God, to Christ, to the word of God, it will be hard. And you know, no kidding. But He will sustain us. He will empower us. He will enrich us in all speech. So that we know how to answer the, the crooks, the, 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 the difficult abominations that's happening around the world. You know, we're not saying that, I'm not saying that, oh, suddenly we are enriched. Now, oh, suddenly we have the grace of God through Jesus Christ in, in, in me. Now, I, 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 I will be able to, uh, because suddenly I've enriched in all speech. I know exactly what to say. Suddenly, and with not just speech and all knowledge. Obviously, it's not. But if you read the context, we have to grow into it. Potential is there, but we have to grow into it. 
All right. So it says, as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will sustain you to the end. The whole business about God, Jesus Christ sustaining us is all the whole business of us working, uh, moving, growing in the grace of God in the name of Jesus by the Holy Spirit. It takes two ways, two ways straight. It says, who will sustain you to the end, guiltless in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. That means a lot of people will be guilty at, uh, at the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, listen to it carefully. At the end of the day, which that means the consummation of the second coming of Christ, there will be a lot of guilty people. But because you have received Christ into your life, your heart, um, and, and the grace of God therefore abounds in you, therefore He will sustain you to the end. He will sustain you to the end, guiltless in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. How can we be guiltless? Impossible, right? But you know what? Because Jesus has taken away our guilt on the cross. If we continue in Him, continue to faithfully walking with Him, love the Lord our God with all our heart, no matter how many times we fall, He will pick us up. Hallelujah. He will make us guiltless at the end of the day. Hallelujah. He will sustain us. We're going to look so good, man. Guys, verse 9 says, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of the, His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God is faithful. That's the faithfulness of God that will never run away. He will bring us to the end. He, our speech is enriched. Our knowledge is enriched, empowered by the grace of God. We, have, we do not lack any gift. People argue about speaking in tongues and prophecy, spiritual, spiritual gifts, contro controversy, controversial as they are. I would say that the overall gift is already in us. We're just going to move in it. Um, we don't lack any gift. Check it out. First Corinthians chapter 1, uh, verse 1 to verse, uh, verse 4 to verse, verse 9. God is faithful. He will bring us to the completion, to the finishing line. He will sustain us and sustain us to the end, to the end, to be guiltless in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is faithful. The Lord bless you. Amen.